clues to lead to this room. And look what's in it. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Second dominant of fire. Who are you? Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace.
corazón. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are.
No escape, eh? It's all right. I'm done running from you. Together, then. It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. 
We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers, together. I want to learn the truth, too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confound it! The hour is later than I thought. delivered who, who delivered the coffer said he said sit paid him I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me find out where he is Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord!
as if to... So, what next? We returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. What is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Yeah! 
sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, 
Lead me to your nest. Lord Kubka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Sid Solo. Then, we have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. It didn't sound happy. What do you suppose it could be? Don't mind me. Just taking a quick breather, ain't I? Keep running, or we can walk through this door. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then. With a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and 
pay a visit to Mother. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, oh, well, yeah, well, I, I, I don't think I have anything. Well, I just want to... The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing.
All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> few potions for this if everything we were taught about the mother crystals was a lie then what else might we have been deceived about Don't mind me. Just taking a quick breather, and I. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Better I'll be here. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better I'll be here. I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I 
I'll be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. It'd better I'll be here. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tires Borbile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. Make it quick. So, what'll it be? Scratches, all right. And Otto barking at his lot earlier. Sound happy. Take a seat, Clive. I'll fetch you a bowl of brown. So you're really going through with it? Sis been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. Well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again, this time due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. That's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home, with a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this Dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. 
I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Here you go. Always something in there. Here they were hiding branded that didn't belong to them. Well, that's just thievery. Sounds like they got what they deserve. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single Bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks, Jim Master.
find him. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word... You look like you're in a hurry. Not far, I hope. Sounds serious. Not so much what happened as what might. And now, one of his erstwhile... Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor son, they'll be after him before long. Here. If you've the time and the inclination. I... Of course. Thank you, Clive. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to... You found him yet? You won't catch a bat. That fucking snake played me false. Acted like he was one of us. We need him caught and handed over to the imp... Well, go on then. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look. Not bloody likely. Come on now. You want something done right, you don't... Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and someone said they saw Norris heading for the fallen gate. We have to find him. Find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. Bearers are hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back, and he had a lantern with him for some reason. He was making for the marsh. Good girl. You get some rest now. I can't have got far. I better keep my eyes peeled. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. Come on, we were so close. I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. This one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. Just wait here and stay out of... Thank you. And... I've been called... Oh. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me, but... All right. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. I'll be fucked if I'm leaving this to a bearer. I'll go myself. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A cook. Let me see that. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? No, no. I, I mean... I only wish those whose job it was had done letting a bearer go about without... You want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock.
Is it true, Clive? He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but... All right. Oh, thank How many... I was out of the door too. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Golden stable. Huh? Oh, that's a fun. Get him, lads. I want that blade. Let's get this over with. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stable! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern. When they're not busy keeping the P Empire might be in charge. But that don't mean they care to keep us safe. I see. Just as you did today. You're a... And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next... Right. We've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. who saw off the party. A Rosarians. Oh, what is it they said? <laughs> Curse my luck. Now, I've not got your knack. But it's just a short claim. I oh, just promise. Ah, claim. Oh, oh, don't. Yeah. <sighs> 
Well, yours I... You found it! Any longer out in the sun and my catch would have made for poor eating and... Be more careful next time. Oh, I will. No point casting the nets of a morning if... There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new... Crystals are scarce and the... Oh, your SIDs couldn't trouble you for to pass some new map. Ma so I could. That will tell it. I'll hope. So you're the new arrivals. You're safe here. Truly. I'm hungry. Wait here. I won't be long. Don't tell me. Turnips for some. That'll be enough today. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing up to the big yard to see the lad? Haven't much, but you're free to look. Good day. Sun's setting fast. They'll all be back from the soon. I'll have two plates of whatever. You Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without... It's not for me. Oh, my apologies. I will in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all... That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mind. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton... And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left... What? Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and... See Red and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Brother, did you see? <gasps> yeah. May we? Brother, this place is like it. We sat and no one shouted. I know. You're free now. In the next. Thank you. Did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard to see the lad? Master Quinton. I, I, 
I want no... T wait, wait, that's... Ah, oh, glory to Grieger. You wear that. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wings... And you need someone... I do, I suppose. I tried, Chase. And if I don't bring... You look like you can... Please. All right. Oh, thank you. Be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our goat and rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a... Well, I'll... Otto barking at his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. You've lost a letter. Oh, just a letter. It can't be that bad. How could it be any worse? Nothing worse. Than no. no. Fine. Are you said go to if you and if I. I'm sure he doesn't. So what? Not very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. He's 
never missed. Where are you? Is every fun one? No, wait. I'm tempted. I'll do. Okay, he's not. Nice. Courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I'd better keep my eyes open. <laughs> Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. the lost supplies. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. We've come this far. A little overdressed to be... I'm looking for... Can't... Well... Wait, no, I... Which... To the... Looking to be a fine harvest this year. Back, are ya? Did Master Quintin summon ya? The shad's all salted and smoked. Seems we have our culprit. Someone's waiting for this. At least waited long enough for it. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Maybe I should just own up to what Owens. Oh, there you I just got back to the found the thing. Only More skulking about in the shadows for me then. Oh, losing the Is it about? <sighs> She's in it. Oh. So if there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. You'll be sweet as honey. That'll be enough today. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard to see the lad? Ah, if it isn't... I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. He was expected back at the hideaway sometime. Randall? Though... Thinking I'll go and look for him. He was to meet an associate of I do hope nothing. Can I 
have another cup, Teddy? Ah. How many have I had? <laughs> Sun's setting fast. They'll all be back from the vineyard soon. Man, we were attacked. Randall knew it didn't. Where did this happen? Further down the road, please. I'll do what I. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened, and? Damn it. He's not far from the South Gate. Of course. I knew he was brave. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact... Because it held keep the hideaway. I'll tell Sid what happened here. Max... And... I suppose you're none too happy either. <laughs> 